90 Day Fiancé fans are disappointed with the spin-off series Pillow Talk, especially with the cast. Check out why fans are unhappy with the stars. 90 Day Fiancé fans are not afraid to share their opinions of the TLC franchise, and the newest episodes of Pillow Talk are already facing scrutiny. Since 2014, 90 Day Fiancé has helped bring international couples together with the goal of enjoying married life in the United States. This feat isnt as simple as it sounds, however. Not everyone is who they seem. Between accusations of catfishing, omissions of serious aspects of one's personal life, and dramatic arguments, some couples become fan favorites while others quickly turn into TV villains. The overall success of 90 Day Fiancé has led TLC to create several spin-offs where fans of the original show can catch more glimpses of outrageous individuals and couples. Ed Big Ed Brown has become a staple figure of 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days. While Angela Deem and Michael Elisanmi have starred on both shows, plus 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After? Another series that fans enjoy watching is 90 Day Fiancé Pillow Talk. Besides providing commentary on each 90 Day Fiancé episode from the comfort of their home, Pillow Talk differs from the main series by featuring duos who aren't just romantically involved. Brothers Dean Hashem and Tarek Myers were positively received by Pillow Talk audiences and best friends Cynthia Decker and Molly Hopkins. With 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 premiering on April 17, TLC viewers have been tuning into the newest episodes of Pillow Talk but are overwhelmingly disappointed with the cast as a whole. Reddit user RealityRider asked fellow Redditors what they thought about the stars of Pillow Talk, and viewers did not hold back their feelings. Fans of the show believe several duos are trying too hard to be funny and come across as disingenuous, awkward, or plain mean. Tanya Maduro and her mother Rohana from 90 Day Fiancé Season 7 are one duo that have received poor reactions, with many calling Tanya self-centered and fake for focusing too much on ex-fiancé Singden Colchester. Tom Brooks from 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days Seasons 3 and 4 and his sister Emma weren't received any better, with Redditors calling the siblings unfunny and horrible. Stay.